Hello Aries, this is your reading for April 2019. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. We're going to go ahead and get started with a Celtic cross for the month as usual. Laying the cards face down. It's got face down, guys, okay? Let's see. Oh, wow. We've got a lot going on in the month of April, guys. Let's see what's going on around my Aries. Let's see what's challenging you guys here. The underlying issue. The recent past. Best possible outcome or what you guys would like to see happen in a situation. What's coming in for my Aries? Let's see how you guys are viewing yourself this month and the influence on the situation currently. Your hopes and your fears, or your fears rather. Your hopes or your fears. And the overall outcome. All right, my loves, let's see what we've got going on around you guys currently. Ooh, we have the Four of Wands. I feel like this is all about your home life. You guys are happy. You're sharing. Um, I think that's what you're comfortable with right now. Okay, You're not wanting anything to basically rock the boat. There's unity in your home. Okay, I think there's a lot that has transpired in your home um, that was, you know, causing some conflict. But I feel like right now everything is all to the good. Some of you guys have gotten married. Some of you are in relationships. But for the most part, there's stability surrounding you guys. Okay, what's challenging you is a three of swords. Okay, um, I feel there is some disappointment. Um, but I feel like it's nothing that you guys cannot get past. Uh, this also may be a passing energy from the past. Okay. Something that still kind of um, lingers and has um, a residual effect on you guys periodically. Okay. So let's see what's going on in the recent past here. A Knight of Swords energy. Hmm. I feel like there was somebody that was very hasty, that was um, very careless with your heart, okay? I feel like this person, um, very stubborn, very stubborn energy. I feel that this person uh, may have been very angry, probably got angered a lot and, and easily, okay? The underlying issue here is... A seven of wands energy hmm I feel like you guys there's something that you've accomplished um, and you are really defending that accomplishment okay uh, but there's also something I feel like you know you've conquered something but you're also you know wanting to start something new okay there was somebody I feel like was very very careless, very hurtful to you before in the past, and you're very protective of your heart. I feel like you've, you've basically healed from that. You may not really understand what has happened here, but nevertheless, I don't feel like you will allow this to truly rock the boat um, in your situation. I always I almost feel like you guys are like blocking this energy out here. You know, it's like you've got your back turned to, and it's like, no, mm -mm, not allowing you to affect me anymore. Okay. So, how you're feeling about this situation currently here is the Seven of Swords. You're doing what you feel like is best for you. This is all about you moving forward. Moving forward. Um, doing what is best for you. Okay. You've been hurt. Um, and I feel like you guys know the truth. Uh, surrounding a situation the truth the only truth that you need to know basically is that you need to look out for yourself and I think that's the conclusion that you guys have come to here okay you're just ready to move on by yourself it's like you don't need um, anyone to help you move on as far as like giving you closure or anything I'm feeling like you guys have you know you you have your own closure 
Okay, so the best possible outcome here in the situation is a magician. Look at that. Okay. Yes, using all of um, your skill set to make shit happen. If there's something that you feel like you want, I'm feeling like you guys know that you can get it. All you need to do is believe and do it. Manifest it. Okay? You have the confidence that whatever it is that you want to acquire, whatever it is that you want to tackle, that you will be able to do it. What's coming in for you guys here is Seven of Cups options most definitely you have three sevens now very heavenly number very heavenly heavenly number here okay with the magician as above so below okay using all your spiritual energy all the energy that you have with inside you to manifest it into reality whatever it is that you want okay options Okay, coming for you guys, coming in for you guys, being able to acquire, achieve um, success on your own without anyone actually, um, you know, the kind of building you up or I'm feeling like you guys are doing some shit all by yourself here. Okay, and it's been hard. Because, again, you've been heartbroken. Somebody has said some real hurtful shit to you, done some real hurtful shit to you, that shook up your house, shook up your stability. But here, you've got it together. And now it's like, no, not allowing that anymore. But I definitely feel like somebody wants to come in. Somebody has something to say to you. Somebody definitely has something to say to you because I'm getting that this person also feels shook right now. Okay? They feel shook right now. They don't know how to approach you, though, because they know how they come across. They don't have a lot of tact, okay? So they're really kind of leery of you guys here. And they know that you're being very defensive. They know that you have a reason to be. The influence here in this situation is a higher effect because you're standing your ground. Again. You're standing your ground. You're also teaching people about themselves here by standing your ground and establishing boundaries. Okay? Yes. Most definitely. Your hopes or your fears is a sign. You just want to be happy. Okay? <laughs> That's just the bottom line. You just want to do and be with people who will make you happy who vibe with you on the same level with you, that believe the same things that you do, that believe that people should have boundaries and adhere to those boundaries of others, yes, okay? That is your hope. Kumbaya, all right? <laughs> and the overall here, we have death. We have death. I'm, I'm definitely getting that um, you guys have influenced an individual in this situation. There's also an energy here that you guys have blocked out. That you have blocked out. That deceitful shit you see right through it. That want to be heard. It's like you're blocking out all that that want to be seen, want to be heard energy. Okay. If there's anybody here that you feel like, you know, cheated on you with the Seven of Cups energy and the Three of Swords, you're not having that anymore. You're putting an end to all that shit. You guys have changed. And, and because you have changed, you have also made somebody else take notice and start to change as well in this situation here. Okay, so we have Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, um, Aquarius energy is here. Let's see, Taurus is here, Leo's here. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you for the month of April, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.